Alright, let's start the stream. Should come online. Yep, there we go. And got a cough. Alright. Let's see who will be joining. Let's just start a queue. Let's see if anyone is up for joining on the stream. Not yet, it seems like. Turn down the audio a little bit. Hi, that is love. How oh, is the stream performing? Uh, not enough video. Oh, uh, what is that? Oh. Uh, Bit right too low. Let's see if I can up the uh, bit rate a little bit. See if it helps a little bit. Just in time there. Feel free to hop in the Discord live chat if you want. Attention all ships, eliminate incoming enemy forces. Alright, as a healer. Doing team deathmatch. So stick together is the plan. Stick with the healer specifically. And that's an aggressive. Where the hell did that tech cruiser go? Picking up enemy contact. Over there. Oh, I'm out of range there. Oh, there he is. And it's a Katara. Let's send the nuke on its way. Launch. And uh, watch closely for the drop. Detonates. That's a pretty good hit. Not enough damage though. Not really any sig anything this significant. The heal the Kataro is staying with me. That's not the healer that I really wanted to have on this here. Missiles incoming. Wait for it. And activate armor boost. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Slaggy. Uh 
but some could someone be as helpful to maybe look up how to make a stream less laggy? Because I'm pretty sure it is on my end because the stream itself says the video output is low. So since I'm in a match, like I will, I will. If you guys are saying like, well, I will just wait until after the match, then I will look it up. But if you guys want to fix it right now, I could use some money just to look that up on how be how it would be done in OBS and uh, I'm gonna fall back here because that's too many people that was a good nuke okay actually I'm gonna push in again because that was a really really nice nuke where's our healer uh, alright there are areas Gotta be taking the brunt of the sh tax here. Fall back. What the hell is that Corvette doing in the front line? He is gonna get blown up there in a second when somebody spots him. Pretty damn sure. Attack cruiser is on my me at least. That's good. I think from the left. What the hell? I'm still falling back because that's their entire team there. With three dreadnoughts. Like, I think it's two dreadnoughts and three destroyers and attack cruiser. Attack cruiser is the one keeping them alive. Actually, they got two attack cruisers. It makes it even harder. Uh. I'm all shelled up, protected, and the healer should be able to get me protected, and nuke away. Nuke, I could really use you right now, yes. Okay, that's a broadsider, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, we got a dreadnought on their end. We need to get that dude. Oh Jesus, that's a nuke. That's a nuke. That's a nuke. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I missed it, but that guy took a hit there. Why not cross out? Because Dreadnought is the most intensive game that I got installed currently. It's more intensive than uh, cross out, and I need to test my PC integrity. So I need to run something that is a little bit heavier in terms of uh, hardware usage. And I just felt like playing Dreadnought because it's been so long since I played it, and uh, it's a really great game. Okay, 24 to 20, that means we got 5 kills, they got 4. Blue screen, they'll blow it up. Uh, there were some bias, uh, bias outdated issues, and uh, like, there were actually like, quite a few things going on. Okay, nuke away. Uh, 4, shields, everything, protect me. Oh god, there are more. Uh... Okay, my shields are still up. Uh, should be activated. Got an ET. Energy to regen. There are quite, there are quite a few issues with my PC, and among other things, I actually had to like rebuild it entirely, like take it out and fully build everything again. Uh, need your repair as well. I would really use some. Oh, Jesus. Uh. It's gone. What? Oh, this little, uh, um. Those little things, those are like parts of my crew that are just talking to me. 
and it stops. Um, I think it might be the bit red uh, on the video. So again, if somebody could uh, look up what exactly would be that issue, it would be nice. And otherwise, I'll just look it up myself after the match is done. Okay, uh, screw it. I cannot launch that nuke at this short range. Okay, we got him. Super choppy. Okay, uh, shields. Nuke. Uh, wait, is the nuke going to hit the roof? Ooh, okay, that was so close. Uh, I'm dead here. I at least got the nuke off and, uh, Ah, oh, it missed, partially. Okay, let's swap to something a little bit heavier. Here comes the Jutland. Or, as I like to call it, the Monarch, because the actual... Because actually, I don't know whether you guys know this game, but I actually played this game in the closed beta, really long back. Uh, warp towards my team anyways um, there are three factions each with five different ships one of each class and uh, basically you only had one variant of each type and uh, god I actually have to get out of here Jesus uh, anti-missile lasers uh, I'm not backing up fast. <laughs> Anyways, um, what basically was there, like, you only had the Monarch, and then they decided, like, hey, let's make a tier 1 to tier 5 style game, and let's make variants of each ship. And then they made what was then known as the Monarch, made them into the Jutland, and gave the Monarch a different look. And uh, this monarch is the um, heavy dreadnought, and dreadnoughts are basically the tanks of this game. Just the damage soaking class, and uh, with 80,000 health, I'm uh, quite sturdy here. Gonna launch my vulture missiles here. Look at that animation of those little missile port. I love that. Oh, we got two barrage of missiles coming in. I have to watch both of them at the same time at the range so I can activate my shields at the right moment. Uh, now. Full missile barrage. Who cares? Only downside of the Jutland is that it has very lackluster damage output on the main guns. I'm just shooting all I can on that dude. Uh, weapon are boost, bo weapons are boosted. Uh, let's uh, unload. Thank you. Enemy I think we got their medic there. Uh, let's get the anti-missile anti lasers. Okay, uh, this is gonna hurt. Broadsides. Uh, where are we gonna warp to? I cannot really warp anywhere, so I'm just gonna warp as far back as I can. Uh, okay, I'm not that great of a position here, but uh, let's move downwards. Oh, I got a captain kill. Nice. <laughs> Rotate, get the guns. My old loadout with the Monarch was basically a Monarch with almost all the health boosting stuff you can possibly get on it. And uh, 
it was nearly invertible if you had a proper medic behind it. And it was actually glorious. And I just warp, warp jump right in somebody's face. And I'm pretty dead here. Pretty sure. Uh, God. Yeah, I'm dead. There we go. And I got a shot ship again, because why not? I'm gonna show you guys the mobile dreadnought. There's the Invictus class, although... Oh, we won. GG, we won the match. Alright, uh, I'm gonna check. I'm going to check my uh, settings. Oh. Uh, stream. Let's see if this helps anything. Video is unwatchable. Yeah, I don't know what my old settings were. That's kind of the painful thing. Output. Stream. Okay, restart the stream. Stream is back. Let's see if it gets getting any better. All right, let's check the research. 18k is not going to be enough. Where's my tier three semi class? Where are you? There we are. I'm blind. Ah, oh, 7k, I don't know if I can't get anything done. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys a few things on the uh, Jutland then. My loadout used to be. Uh, I used to have to warp drive. Uh, wait, let's just go for tech tree, it's a little bit easier. I went warp drive, 5,000 kilometer range. Um, there were some maps that was really cool. There was like, you both spawned with kind of a wall in between, but the wall was less than five kilometers thick and I could actually um, like get right through it. Uh, low frame rate, is it getting better or like, is it better than before or worse than before or same? A lot of freezing. Yeah, I have to figure out what my settings were and uh
grabs the frame rate to 3500 again. Apparently, when I stopped it, like put it on the other encoding system, it went back to 2500. Uh, what am I stream saying? It's yellow. It's not saying any messages there. All right, so. Also, guys, if you guys want to join me, I am in the voice chat and I am uh, playing Dreadnought. It's a free-to-play game on Steam. Um, just say your username in chat if you want to join, and I'll uh, create a squad. Oh, so I have a lot of friends on the list. It's a lot of old people that I <laughs> used to play with, Hellcast. Sad little girl, wow. Now this is... That's... Some nostalgia right there. <laughs> As you guys, apologies if I sound any different, because I am sick, actually, still. For like... One and a half week now. Kind of sucks. Okay, conquest. Hmm, I might just grab the Otranto. Go with a little bit of a uh, DPS output. I did not die from Ligma. <laughs> My uh, PC died. I um, have had a flu and a really bad fever that's kind of like every time just coming up and going going away again and uh also having some uh personal life issues that uh, are also kind of difficult to handle and uh then again the pc broke down okay conquest we are going to be uh hey, let's go Move. Ooh. Tier 3. A light artillery cruiser. I like the lights the best in terms of artillery cruisers. Our fleet is ATCs. Our fleet is securing control point beta. Our fleet is securing control point beta. So, guys, how is the stream Our FPS going currently? Okay, you guys give me an estimate of the FPS of the stream and if it got better since like five minutes ago. Our fleet has secured control point alpha. Let's get control, point beta. control of this area. So if you guys don't know how this game mode works, um, top right you can see the minimap. And uh, you have, basically you have to capture as many squares the as you can. And capture points give you a lot of squares, but also just flying in ter empty territory just gives you a lot of territory points. And the basically territory points basically mean how much points you gain per second. And uh, I I'm going to be attacking this dude. He's uh, overextending myself quite a bit. Okay. Ouch. Rapid fire mode, that hurts. Uh, I'm dead here. Uh, pretty sure. Train torpedo out. Reboot. Nope. Not enough. I got a strange torpedo and I might get a Goliath hit there, but I doubt it. FPS is good. Alright. Well, oh, guys, who wants to join me with giant bloody spaceships? We've linked our territory to our allies. Uh, I need to get in between there in the center of the map. That's where we're gonna have to be now. Try to see if we can. Okay, there we go. Gora Claws, Heavy Destroyer. Those are ju have just as much health as the Light Dreadnoughts, and uh, they can really take a beating. 45k health is nothing to sneeze at. 
I still have... Uh, okay, I'm gonna be shielding up as well now. Oh, hello. There goes the second torpedo. And, uh... Rip me. Uh, I'm gonna need something more substantial to hold the fort. A little bit more health on the Gravis. Anti-missile lasers will protect me. Even though weapon, uh, I mean armor booster pulse is way better. Oh, we got another Gravis here. Rank three, and he is coming down on me. Ah, that, 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 that. Oh, oof. Australia, huh? Well, then you would only not only have that issue, you would also have the issue of uh, just a rain, like me being on the other side of the world. That's on the vultures. We're about four kilometers out, so the vultures should have more than enough range, even if he dies behind some cover. And they should clear that mountain. Okay, I want to turn right here uh, and get that artillery cruiser. The ATC guy. Okay, we're gonna help this guy then. Oh, I found a artillery cruiser. There you go. Let's give him a little bit of a surprise. Alright. Hello. Ah. Yeah, uh, so you're into the trash, and then also, of course, the um, if I got just a distance. I have some super lots, yes, but uh, having no tactical cruiser is uh, painful in a team. So I do think that's needed. I basically got to be playing medic now. Kept him alive. Uh, I'm out of range. Strain his stuff. Where's that? He's full health. Full health. Is there anyone else here? Oh, he took some damage. Not anymore. Uh, that's a, uh, Tudu Cruiser. Uh, we've got some destroyers on the right. Uh, ooh. Vendetta. Oh, wow, he is, uh... Or not, or not. Uh, okay, we got another attack cruiser here. I'm not capable of really combating that much output. Where is this guy? Uh, how can I support him? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't want to be inside of a light artillery cruiser firing angle. What's this there? Let's uh, get this guy up on health a little bit. Systems drained. Uh, fire all missiles. I do not have missiles. I got a repair pod though. Here we go. Oh Jesus! Oh God. Ah, we lost this one. I'm pretty sure. Amplifying weapons. Got that heals out. Come on. Uh. Oh, Jesus, where is that dude coming? 
Okay, that's a big nuke. <laughs> This is about as far as I can get from here. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, they won this pretty hard. 2300 points. Uh, auto repair. On. Keep my system at health. I'm not dying here now. Not yet. Jesus. Yes, I survived. <laughs> Just cause four. No, I'm not gonna be getting that. It's not my kind of game. I really like Jared not because of the mo uh, module loadout stuff. I uh, play Robocraft and Crowdside uh, for the building and etc. Like, I'm customization, single match kind of guy. I'm not that much into like. Campaigns or whatever. Healing down best of match after I started becoming a healer like halfway through the match. Wow. I should got the heavy healer. Uh, ships. A cool effect or gushy to get it. I. Can I research using the Dota? What? Gushy. Hmm. Because otherwise, I would have to get the Vokari. No, the Vokari cannot get it. Wow. So, to get it, I need to get the Dora. Alright, I played Dora. Alright, so then, uh, fleets. Veteran fleets. What are we gonna throw out? Uh, the other destroyer. Uh, Dola. That's. Remove that one and replace him with the Morning Star. Premium ship gives me some extra research. So let's go check on uh, the Dola and what she has to offer. Got only got 7,000 kilometer Tempest missile. Okay, it's torpedo salvo. Weapon boost boost. Okay, that's good. Motor reboots fine. Flag turrets. That's good. Uh, she has most of the loadout that I want her to have. I would be going for Goliath Torpedo and Drain Torpedo. And that's really it. And, uh... What I really want to get is, uh, uh... You cannot just check those things out, but... I want to get Desperate Measures. If it's a low health, my room uh, just all reboot, so I can, like... Suicide Charge and drop four Torpedo Nukes. Uh, like, well, nuke torpedoes <laughs> into somebody's face. This is a great way to suicide charge. Morning Star is also hilarious, although, instead of the director beam, you should have armor booster pills, to be honest. Basically, it is a giant tank with a bazoo and shotguns. And I spawned late into this match. Uh, let's get this guy up. Da -da 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 Systems drained. This should be fine. Let's check the entire D of the team. Okay, he needs some health. He's up there. Oh, I gotta actually do some damage here for a second. Keep him up. Amplifying weapons, keep him alive. Keep some energy left for shield star. Even though I got self repair, I do not want to get shot. Enemy missiles, okay, got it. Uh, I cannot watch around me, but let's hope. Ah, shield. Yep, there they go. Hello, missiles. Oh, Jesus! What the hell did that guy go? Plasma ram. 
Oh god. <laughs> Alright. And a match already over. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Just take it, I guess. Then got the grind with you. Go that. Healing done above average. I only was like one minute into the match. What the hell? <laughs> so uh, nobody wants to join up. This game is way more fun when you should get like a team together. It used to be a 5v5, and I was like, I think it's an 8v8 now, but like it used to be 5v5, and you could have like a team of 5 in squad. And then just voice chat and work together, and that's absolutely amazing and fun to do. If you guys want to see me take out any of the ships, just say so. Now that I'm mainly going to be grinding with the tier 3 ships, just to get towards tier 4 and get the modules on the tier 3 ships because the tier 2 ships I got most of them and like I got most of the tier 3 ships and I got the Machias, I got the Palos, I got this, I got the Trento so Jupiter Arms is complete do not have the Crash Nick or the Fulcari but I really do not like either of those two lines just got an idea for the game this game is really teamwork based Ready for the mule. Uh, I have not seen that one. Cause Peter, if you uh, want to join up, say your username, and uh, I will console my matchmaker and uh, invite you to a squad. It's actually my old username before I became the cat. <laughs> That's how long ago it was with this game. Five minutes. Uh, I will probably be in a match by then, so I will. Oh, yeah, there we go. Match is starting. So I will see you in the next match then. This beca uh, game becomes uh, most fun if you have like two other players, and one of them is like one of one of you could tr one of the trees like a healer, one of the trees a dreadnought, and one of the trees a destroyer, and you just move around as a pack, and the destroyer deals all the damage, the dreadnought just tanks, and the healer keeps them both alive. Healers are so strong in this game simply because of the raw healing output they can put out. That's why I actually want to get a Cache instead of the Aeon class. So the heavy uh, yeah, support cruiser thing. Uh, Tackle cruiser, that's the name. Can't wait to say they're still making movies. That's kind of impressive. So we're taking the Idola. That's sad. The module reboot and the Goliath is going to be our main tactic. So we're uh, one downside of the nuke is that it always drops on the left side. So if somebody's on your right side, uh, it's not too funny. <laughs> I'm thinking of like getting some premium stuff on this thing, like some hero ships. That's what it's called. And I was thinking about getting the Trident bundle off Steam, but uh, it is kind of pricey sometimes. So I have to think like, do I have to spare money for it right now or not? I mean, he's literally the man. <laughs> okay, that's a Jutland. So let's see what we got here. We got two Jutlands. We got a heavy uh, artillery, a Gravette, a Gravette. We got three Dreadnoughts. Where is our healer? Where is our tactical cruiser? Uh I'm always the kind of person that's like, where is the tactical cruiser that ends up being the tactical cruiser, even though I kind of want to play the other things too. But I'm just pretty good at it, just the healing and the situational awareness of it. Uh, not that I have a fine weapon, I wanted to turn off my energy. Very good. So let's send the Tempest missiles. Uh, I want need to protect that thing if possible. Oh, well, there it goes already. Uh, okay, I think I'm just gonna go for this guy. Shield activated. Shields are up. Uh, wait for the shields a little bit. Where else if that... Yep, that guy decided to bomb me. Ship is damaged, 
Oh, Jesus. Uh, Tempest. Uh, never mind. <laughs> are there bots in this game? There are bots, but not in this game mode. Although, actually, well, technically there are bots in this game mode, but also, like, the tiny assault ships, as you can see, like, floating there and there, and that big command ship. So, it looks like I'll have to corrupt the service. Great. Oh, jeez. Uh... There it goes for draining the system. Oh uh, god, I'm also getting shot. Don't block my view of him, please. I need to keep this creature, this artillery creature alive. Artillery creatures are the snipers of the game. That there is a um, ballista. I think it is current very end of it. Come on, keep him alive. I managed to keep him alive. Now let's kill this guy. That beast warping. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hello. Die. Thank you. <laughs> Repair. Ah, okay. Too much. And that's all what I mean with support. Having a destroyer around will greatly reduce the chance of a Corvette getting into your face. Dra Corvettes are pretty good. Uh, strong, actually. Uh, as well, like all the ships are actually pretty bad balance, even though they're really small, they actually pack a lot of punch by heavy torpedoes. They're the little assassins that assassinate tactical cruisers and artillery cruisers. A little bit of rock, paper, scissors. Tactical cruiser and artillery cruiser protect the dreadnought and destroyer. And those will kill the corvettes, and the corvettes kill the artillery cruisers, and uh. Uh, tactical cruisers. Let's burn away at this dude. Let's get the Kuna Mars to command the ship. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Beam weapons? There we go. He's good. Everybody's alive. I can kill this little assault ship, get some points for my team. We're lagging behind quite a bit. Oh god. Can I save this dude? No, I cannot. I'm out of range actually. Oh god. That's not good. Oh, why are you guys trusting out in the open like that? Ah, uh, God. Uh, self repair, please. Can my guns target him, please? Oh, come on, really? I gotta move. Yeah, there's missile short range, so I'm actually still safe. He's coming in again. Uh, soon. The new mech warrior came. Uh, I like Hawken better in terms of mech games. Let's keep our command ship alive a bit. Uh, 7.6, 7.4 kilometers, okay, they're still far out. Let's 
It's really important to keep watching those assertive cruisers. Eat away at your health. It's always funny actually to be a Gataro for that reason. Good night, it's affected seven. Enemy command ship destroyed. Odd captain activating. Oh, Jesus. Let him run out of juice. Let him run out of juice. Keep this thing alive. Or not. Sending pulse counter measures. Where is the other guy? Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Maneuvering thrusters. Get me out of here. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Shield activated. Auto repair, work with me. Thank you. Put an end to that pile of scrap. Pile of scrap, huh? Or not? Uh, I wanted to save that command ship, but that's not happening, I guess. Modules are out, and bye bye. Two Corvettes circling one. Tactical cruiser, uh, not happening. Still, nobody else is switching to tactical cruiser. Still having to read dreadnoughts. Well, the problem with this game is like having either a Corvette or a tactical cruiser or a Tater cruiser, basically. Maybe destroyers, but dreadnoughts are almost useless in this game mode because you are you're not tanking the damage for your team because the actual. The opponents focus the command ship, and that one functions as a dreadnought perfectly fine. Ah, finally, we got uh, Koshi. He's gonna have to come to do much hunting in, against the uh, tactic and the Gravats, that's for sure. I got Tesla turrets. That's not bad. Oh, hello. Let's do some damage. Self repair. Oh Jesus. Nope. And again not. Okay, that goes she's out in the open a bit too much there. Where is he warping? Uh, come on. Okay, we'll stop disrupting my modules, please. And the shotguns. That's a that Corvette has shotguns. Yep, your dual scatter cannons, 1500 damage. 15,000 damage, I mean. Yep, there we go, I'm dead. And we lost the match. Nobody countered the Corvette onslaught. If you want to counter the Corvette onslaught, you're gonna need a uh, Kotaro, actually. Oh, market stop ships. Uh, you put our arms. Kotaro types. Uh, 
specifically like if you have like a tier 4 one or which which would be the one then Test a turret for the short quarters engagements, 4000 DPS, it's quite a lot, uh, stasis beam, movement soda 90%, or uh, purge beam to keep them from activating any of their abilities. Nuke mine, it's really funny. Or drain mine works too, but nuke mine especially, just like drop it near your position. Uh, and then you're probably looking at like overclock pulse. Energy generators probably is the best thing to go for as well there. We only really need to get to play with the dole a little bit more. So let's see if I can... Actually, first I'm gonna customize the ship a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys why I really like this game in the current state. So, uh, we do not have any changes for the modules and officer briefings, but... Uh, no forecast changes. Uh, okay, this is a fully stock looking one. Okay, but at least we can change the coating. Uh, that's... Hunters. I like that gold on it. I forgot I had this <laughs> coating. Uh... Uh... I like the finish one a little bit better. And, uh... It's gonna be Troy in front of here. Hippo dude. This is, this is our big fat hippo. After all. Alright, let's launch it. Generally, you want to have like one ship of each class. Currently I do not have that with three dreadnoughts and not having any artillery cruisers. You know what, let's, let's go grab ourselves uh, some artillery cruisers in here as well. So, uh, remove that from fleet, remove that from fleet. Then we're gonna grab the Fulgora, I'd say. Machias. Oh, the Machios was the one we got upgraded, but oh well. For this little light guy. Oh, it wasn't that guy who wanted to join. Uh, Klaus Peter, are you still here? Match is starting. Here we go. Dry dock. This is the map that I was talking about with the large ridge line in the center. You guys can see it here on the picture. And basically, with the monarch, I would just li literally just warp right through that freaking wall into the enemy's face, and then like uh, Koshi w uh, or two would like both uh, warp after me. Would be great. Nobody should pick a nuke launcher on this map. It's good that this, those two have no nukes. But broadsides. Uh, this guy has a nuke. That's kind of bad. Actually, actually, wait. I'm stupid. It's not. We're not in a space map. <laughs> actually, on a ground map, so it actually works. Our command 
For some reason, I thought we were in a space. Uh, we went to a space map. I tried to move the command ship. There's our command ship. We got a Corvette. Picking up enemy contact. Over there. And an artillery cruiser that we do have to kill ASAP. We need some support. It's out of range. He's, he got me in my his sides though, pretty sure. Captain, we've got a lock. We have weapon lock. Got those stampets out. Oh, there he goes. Those are probably stasis. Might be energy terrain, so I'm just gonna shield up now. Yeah, there we go, energy drains. Knowing when and when not to use your energy in this game is pretty important. And goodbye to the cruiser because she will not make this out of this alive. Let him miss his barrage. And shield up because he's gonna be reloaded in 3, 2, 1, go. Bomb catapults. Uh, move, move, move out of the way. Reloading guns. And good. Bye. I'm at five kilometers out there. <laughs> Let's shoot some of the little fighters. Get some points. I really recommend this game, guys. It's a pretty. It, like, okay, it can be grindy, but you can unlock most things. At low tier, you just will be playing with a lower, like a tier 3 variant of a ship. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Uh, okay. Incoming. Might as well just activate my shields while I can. Fire away. Okay, I'm gonna need this. We've got torpedo lock, Captain. Put an end to that pile of scrap. System drains activated. Ooh, there go the flat guns. Awesome. Rebooting the modules. Activate the missiles. Activate the weapon booster. Empty my clip. And I'm out of here. Commencing cooldown. Got the little fighters. I'm regenerating health anyway, so uh full power to maneuvering thrusters. Our command ship is also still alive. Yes, taking a beating now. Oh, hello. Hi, Captain. Engaging. Hi, Captain. Activating. Fire missiles. Hi, Captain. Activated. Enemy warheads lock on our position. Missile silent. Multiple impacts. Damage control teams on station. That's yeah, the cruiser. I'm outmatched here. All I can do is wiggle up and down, hoping. Okay, that's a destroyer. I'm dead. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Oh God. Yep, he rammed me. That's a plasma ram runner. A oh, plasma ram. Fendicto. Uh, we got a medic. 
Uh, I think we're still good here. Let's kill these little assault ships. Module reboot is so powerful. But it gets a bit difficult if you have a weapon, like if I have module systems that are not instant on cooldown. That you have to like detonate. There we go. Tempest away. Ah, crap. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to be a bit of a pokey. We've gotta be pokey poke. Maneuvering thrusters, here we go. Bombcats, let's move them. That's uh, Stasis, the command ship. Oh, jeez. Ah, there were two. That explains things. <laughs> we're locked on. Stasis warheads got a lock, Captain. Launching catapults. Okay, I got my catapults. That's got a move here. Ooh, nice broadside, no elevation to refer. Against artillery cruisers, you need to w wiggle up and down a lot, like this. It really helps your likelihood of being alive. But Corvettes do freaking bust your ass every single time. If you do not have any good defensive measures. And this thing really doesn't. Let's see if I can assassinate some stuff with my Corvette. Drain Torp. Uh, Drain Torp Disruptor Pearls makes people really, really vulnerable to enemy f f fire from the rest of your team. And that's what we're going to be doing against that cachet. Blink Warps. Low cooldown. I have but activated. Train torpedoes have a lock. I actually don't think I need train torpedo on that guy. That's the guy that we're gonna be taking out now. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Drain torpedo in the black. Thanks for the assist. Pulse countermeasures, I captain. Pulse generator reach up. That's why you're the captain. Bye bye. Okay, I need to recharge my energy. One thing broken about Corvettes is that if they turn on their shields, they are freaking invulnerable. That's the only thing broken about a Corvette, in my opinion. They have a 100% damage reduction. Uh, warp. Uh, they got multiple healers, or... Uh, where... Okay, I'm gonna blink warp again. Whoop. See ya. Bye-bye. You cannot keep up to me. Can he? He shouldn't be able to keep up with me, at least. Oh Jesus, he is not giving up, is he? Full power to 
Bring thrusters. I captain engaging. Train torpedoes are locked on. Pulse countermeasures, I captain. Pulse generator recharging. No. Drain torpedo. Much is for you, comrade. Don't know what this guy is doing, but he is immobile and he's no energy and he's dead. And I see a little corvette here as well. I'm gonna be avenging you, command ship. That guy is a little bit faster than I am because it's a light corvette and I'm a. Uh, Where did he go? Oh, great. Oh, wow, he went all the way back there. He went in a way different direction. Train torpedoes have a lock. Ships hold down to 50%, Captain. Shield activated. I died while invulnerable. Okay, got it. Sure. Oh, much over. Victory. Nice. Oh, did some well. Six hundred eighty one points. Not bad. One point nine kills above average. Lol. Average kills on uh, it's like five kills. It's like in quite a lot of kills averagely. So what do we got in terms of research points? Uh, Toronto. What do you have? What I have to research now? But if you go. Uh, 9k, I, I guess I can upgrade a warp drive, although I don't really need it. I'm not going to be equipping it, at least. I'm just close to it if you go then. What else actually do we have? Trainer box, 8k. So I have a new PC. Um, actually, no, I had to reinstall pretty much everything on my PC, so it's basically just back to ba how it used to be. Uh, why is there no tier 3 armor booster pulls? It's so sad. It's got that. Upgrade a nuke. And. Ooh, slow and steady. <laughs> I'm taking that. Yes, please. Uh, I need to check on. So the ones that have one line there are like. Aha. All right. Still nobody up that wants to play with me in the squad. Gonna launch again. What shall we take out next, guys? I got a Saras. I actually can edit the load at 22,000 on the research. I can probably buy something off that. Uh... Repair auto beams. Let's research that. And uh, we do not have enough funds for it. Ouch. Oh, I can at least get the passive. Oh, I need to get two. Ah, I see. So I need to buy these two modules and then I can get it. Okay. Reinforce is not a very great ability unless you're really not relying on your modules at all. You didn't know this game was free to play. Ah, yeah, that's free to play. Let's just go to Steam, download it. It used to be pay to play, so to say. Like, you had to buy a pack to enter, and I got the 
basic Morningstar pack, so that's why I have the Morningstar Fiendus or Morningstar. And actually, there's also a code uh, for this game. Let me just grab it. If you go here and you grab yourself a key, you are also you also got this silence for free, which is kind of nice. You know, I'm not using it. So it does have armor amplifier, nuke missile, which missiles. Like this is a long range ship that just keeps at range, uses heavy plasma cannons, nukes, and filter missiles to bring hurt on the enemy. Well, the uh. Well, the morning shot is quite different. Scatter gun both sides of set very tractor beam warp jump. He really wants to get in close and uh, bring the herd. I might actually like get myself a Tridance pack, as I mentioned, that is uh, for sale on the Steam shop. So it's kind of hilarious. Like you have three items, and uh, two of them are one of them is a soundtrack, and one of them is apparently like a um, uh, comic. Of this game, and uh, I'll just grab the Morning Star for once. Anyways, um, if you uh, buy the Trident and everything inside of that pack, it is for for fifty two euros. But if you add the soundtrack and comic to the card, like if you buy those three at the same time, it's only fifty, because like the uh, fifty two pack is twenty two percent off, and the 50 euro pack is 35 percent off just because like the more percentage actually weighs in pretty heavily okay, we've got a Gotaro, we've got a tier cruiser we have no actual healer though mm. why people why why you guys always do this oh now i remember why i was playing the gora because i was going to unlock the crochet <laughs> i already forgot about it I was like why am i playing it And I will be warping here. Three, two, one, and Jump complete. Jump cooling down. No problem, Otis. There's actually a ship in this game that's called the Otis. The is point beta. If I'm not mistaken, so that's fun. Now we got an AFK player that's sitting in our spawn. The enemy has captured control point beta. Let's get in here. Corvettes can be pretty nice in this game, or just like a fa actually, the fa I think fast destroyer is already the best, one of the best. And oh. regen the energy, regen the energy. Where is he shooting at? Okay, that's a dreadnought. Let's get moving. I didn't want to warp jump just yet. I want to go in that guy's face. He's over there. Solid lock. Oh, let's just warp. That's a... Say... Oh, wrong jump. Not close enough. That was kind of a kill still, but okay. So, I had a tactical cruiser and a dreadnought over there. Let's regenerate energy. That's nine kilometers out. Oh, hello. Give me a hug. Dang it. Why are you going behind that wall? That's sad. Up enemy Over there. Oh wow, this thing has 7 kilometers range. It's way better than Jutland is. Okay, give me a hug. Give me a hug. You are very much dead, bro. 
I can take this missile's heads, probably. Hopefully. Don't die. Good. Uh, I might actually just have to jump here. For safety. There goes a lot of territory for us, but, uh... Hi. Hey, Rex. Come join Dreadnought. <laughs> Uh, they're taking A. So I need to return the damage done to the ship and that brawl. It's kind of going broadside are powerful, but it require you to be within 900 meters. And 900 meters is a very short distance in this game. Like that's only let's say that's eight kilometers. Let's get towards that. Radio cruiser. Uh, I've been playing this game for quite a while, actually. Oh, you're dead. You're very dead. Uh, or not. Dang it. Give me a hug, mate. Uh, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump. Okay, we're gonna jump. They're gonna jump. I'm just here for long. Well, I'm just testing how everything is working out right now. But I think they're functioning. I might swap a game later on. I'll see the FPS on the stream on your end, Rex. When you have to nuke that dreadnought into oblivion there. So let's prepare to warp into his face. Uh, keep the energy going. Uh, nope. Where did I just jump to? Let's hope I jumped where I wanted to jump. Uh, yeah, I did. Come here. Oh, hello. I'm dead. What? Did I just survive? Holy shit. Uh, there's a guy shooting from the right side, so I have to go down here. Let's move, 760. 60. Oh, okay, that's good. The enemy is capturing control point alpha. Oh, they're coming A, and we're over pushing and staying here. It's too much as a group. The enemy has captured control point alpha. Let's warp. And here we go. So I got a tactical cruiser there at least. We've lost our link to allied territory. Oh well, lost the link. Throwdown's big fat enough to be his own link though. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Let's get moving. Securing control point alpha. We've linked our territory to our allies. Fleet is securing control point beta. Let's get down in here. And the enemy fleet is dominating the battlefield. Bloop, the arrow base goes <laughs> all the points there. We're still 500 points ahead, so I'm pretty sure we will win this one. Oh, damn. If we got both alpha and beta there. That's uh, pretty damn devastating. Uh, where is it? Dra uh, Firing up. Shield 
Shields. Shields. Uh, I'm dead here. Uh, warp. Let's get towards the destroyer. Oh, where are you, walls? And let's move south. No. 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 Oh, those torpedoes. That hurt. They're probably going after me, so, uh, welp. GG. Yep, there we go. Took a while, but, uh... So that's the morning star <laughs> for you. Let's <laughs> grab the Dola again. We've linked our territory to our allies. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Morning star style of gameplay is actually kind of funny, but the tractor beam is mostly useless. The amount of force that a tractor beam puts out is very, very little, so you aren't really pushing towards your opponent hard enough. And GG. Shiny Dola. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Top score. A. Hey. And a nice even score of 2750 points. Nice. Territory game, best of match. And then with territory claimed, best of team as well. That gave me a lot of points for the Morning Star. <laughs> 40, gave me 12,000 XP for the Morning Star. Even though I have no use for that XP on the Morning Star because it's a hero ship and you cannot edit the loadout. Trident still looks so cool though. Oh, so I'm also like getting 4,000 gray box points, I'll probably end up getting the Orion as well, just for the whole parts. Because you can actually use those whole parts on the ships here as well. So let's say my Otranto uh, owns, I own it. So, uh. Go to its appearance. So, a Trento, four cost, so you can go none. A Trento. I like the Felgor Hulk better, actually. So, Hull, a Trento, none, the Trento. I really like the, the Felgor Hull, uh, but the bridge is a little bit too large. To my taste on it. So, the rear. So that's how you can customize your ship's looks. It's even wor it's even better with my uh, Trinity Bog. Uh, so, four castle. We got none. Uh, Uranian Frontier and Morningstar. Those are basically the same, but this one has the big bow. China Bog uh, is a bit more armor based on that one. Then we got the Nav. It's also like upgrade on that base one then we got the silent without figurehead and the silent with figurehead so that's the shark style one i do really just like the morning star one though then the hall it's basically the under section this is none then we got the Uranium Arana frontier again here we got the china box it's only a small difference you guys can see now you got the Zylans. I do like both the Zylans and the Frontier ones, and I went with the Zylans. Bridge. Remember Frontier. This is the standard one. So the Frontier. The China Box. The Navs. And the Zylans. The Zylans is like so towery. Uh, 
I just went for a rainy frontier again. Stern, I went with silence. Like compared to none, you just have to, like a little bit more protection on that. By the looks, Iranian frontier is just like uh, I have a fat butt, and I don't want to have such a fat butt. So uh, I just went with the silence. Have a nice round booty. <laughs> but if you um, buy a any hero ship or any ship that you have, so let's say um, let's say again with the uh, this one. So we got the hammer hat and Orion. Premium, sh uh, premium ships, and then we have five normal ships. If I um, get the AFOS, then I can actually put the locks on the of the AFOS on the Agasta. So I can actually like view this guy's stack tree, uh, go to his appearance, and make him Jafalgar. Uh, or Trento. Or Trento. And that's this is just the standard tier one ship, Augusta. But now it is uh, decked out towards the specifications of the her ship. One of my favorite ships is um, the Celestia. I just think it looks so magnificent. But it's 2500G to get it. And. Uh, Consider if I might get the vintage one. The vintage one has the same hull, but it has a different bridge. Bridge is kind of sad. Like, the bridge of the or the vintage slash yeah, one is way cooler. And uh, I've considered getting the Otis. Actually, it is Otis with a U, so it's not entirely your name. But uh, this ship has almost the same looks as the um, Bifras. Same rear, but the front nose is point more pointy. Is yeah, you got a bike nose on this, like a little bird nose, more or less. The rest is pretty much the same, except for the paint, of course. But uh, you can buy the paints separately as well. Now, one which I really like is the Leviathan. It's kind of sad, like the, how small the hangar is, because your camera gets way too close. You need a little bit more zoom out ability, to be honest. This one is so streamlined. I just really like it. And it really feels like a Halo confidence ship. Then we got uh, the Mr. Monkey Lord. <laughs> yes, that's a freaking monkey hat. <laughs> Handy man. Then we got the Zetaran. That's the Light Destroyer. And it has this uh, frog face. No oh, other ones on there. And with the Aeon, we got the Akaro, which is uh, pretty cool. The blades in the front makes it look pretty menacing. And then you got a Nereid, which looks so funky because how the nose goes down and into this mermaid style statue or something. And other than the Otis, we also have the Phoenix. So bright red. Look, really looks like a bird though. It has like these flaps right there to make it look more like a bird. And even has the bird deco. <laughs> wow. That's Oberon. A cool effect. And we have the Morningstar in this island. That's all you got. Uh, oh, Morning sign. I, I do not have the PCF Morningstar, funny enough. Even though I actually like basically have it with the uh, old Morningstar. It's kind of funny. There, I think they're both like the, exactly the same ship, but the, what, because of the different ways you gonna you got them, I'm not even gonna play until I'm like, certain that everything is okay and everything is holding up. I'll probably like play a uh, half an hour more or something. There's the house coral. This is one of the original pack ships. Same with the Otis and the Celestia. I really like the bright red on it. It's a cool paint. And overall, it's a pretty cool ship. But it doesn't really change too much to the Gora. I mean, you can also go with this giant mother trucker of a Gora. <laughs> Nerves of looks. Here, is, here we got the potato. Otherwise known as the Cochet or Kali. 
I have fond memories of this potato. Being the medic of choice, if possible. And if available. And on Jupiter Arms, we got the Naga, which is a snake version of the Velker. This is really cool front rods there. It looks like they're guns, but I don't know if they're, they're guns or not. I have that really big bottom thing and the tail is really huge. Wow. I do like this one really like a lot though. With the armor plating. I'm not really a Grafette player though, so eh. Yeah. Yotis. Yeah, that was well uh Manufacturer, uh, factory, right? No, uh, oh, brown. Oh, this, but it is if OU. Let's go back to Jupiter Arms then. Tunman, this is the heavy artillery cruiser. It's mainly the paint that is different. He's my brother. <laughs> oh. Somebody just pop into the. Ah, oh, hey, Matt King. Welcome to the live stream chat. <laughs> Voice chat. I really like this Orion. Just like how smooth the armor play out of this. So if I, I will probably get the Orion because it's only like one thousand. Compared to the hammer hat, how gigantic that nose is on there. It does look like a shark. And, uh, yeah, again, then we have the tridents, but I already showed that one. There are a few more secret ones that are hidden, as I know of. I know that there is a modification of the Kataro, and there's another modification of the Aeon. That are not on the shop, but they actually are part of the trident pack. Let's, uh right a bit more if we want to get that Koshi I need to play with the Dola Deck 3 so I need 7 parts for it I can actually get an upgraded module reboot that I'm actually going to get here purchase and equip that one's actually kind of important. Armbreaker missile is actually really nice. 13,000 meter range. That's like for the long range. If you're gonna go for Tempest missiles, get the weapon breaker. Weapon booster pull, stay with your team. Don't get in close. Then you still, you still actually want to get the uh, flag terrorists because flag terrorists are OP as fuck. Four shots and then uh, bye bye Corvettes. Ooh, Ixion. This, well, this is a map that I like. It's a good example of where you not should uh, should not take a nuke because there's basically no floor on this map because of your you're, you're actually fighting in space in this one. Go scrap that fat Stola. Okay, this guy got the Orion, but uh, used a different midship. You guys can see, like, you can customize these things quite a bit. This guy with a little devil hat on the front. Then here's my Dola again. Okay, I do like that paint quite a bit. That's a cool paint. Overall, this ship just looks cool. Oberon has some uh, pretty good looking ships. Well, the Akuras, or Akura, I don't know, Factor. I don't even know, like, they are just like this blob potato style ships, really. You guys can see. Okay, a lion's head. I think that's also one of the more hidden packs. Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh, south A, that's our point. I usually think it's possible around for speed boost. <laughs> it's a viable tactic, but you have to wait for cooldown quite a bit. The 
Uh, they're gonna cap A for us, so we're gonna turn right here and capture some nice amount of territory. There's pushing, got at early advantage. That's the ship that we want to take out. Okay, damn, we are really pushing hard across the field there. I don't think I'm quite spotted. Okay, now I'm spotted. Pretty damn sure I'm spotted now. Yeah. Hello. Okay, that's an ally. It's just the Orion. And goodbye. Let's get the Dola fat ass moving. We have a booster pulse. Hello. Reboots. Fire away, fire away. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. We've been hit hard. Damage control teams dispatched. Missiles locked and ready to fire, Captain. Missiles away. Suicide missiles there. <laughs> There's some guys in the voice chat, but they're not quite loud enough, so I'm just gonna turn up the voice volume a little bit. One and go. We've linked our territory to our allies. Uh, we probably want to be south on the map, around C4. It's pretty much where we want to be here. C4, C. C to D4. A nuke on this map? That's actually really hard to pull off to get a hit with a nuke. The Aeon took some damage though. Oof. That's a regenerate. Uh, that's a light destroyer. And that's a light dreadnought. I could probably kill the light dreadnought. And I did not properly launch the missiles because I did not have a lock. Great. Wait, no, that's a medium dreadnought. Okay. Oh, I misactivated there. Activate the guns. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, where did he go? He's underneath me, isn't he? Hello. Our fleet is dominating the battlefield. Where are the guns? I have enough time to do that. I'm just falling back. Wise choice there. 11 kilometers out on the artillery cruiser, so that's no problem. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. I think we got this one as well. Uh, I want to go to C, Thanks, C to D4. Get a little bit more territory here. Uh, it feels good to grab that territory. Need, oh, okay, we barely are connecting up there. We're halfway there, Captain. I'm actually just gonna chill over here for a while. That's the light destroyer. Let's greet him with some missiles. Show him his mistake. Going after one of us while we're with two. Reload the guns. Okay, that's our destroyer. Uh, we're gonna be falling back here. Fire booster. Pulse is on. 
I was baiting him backwards right now. Commencing cooldown. Let's get behind that piece of cover. Ah, that's a nuke. Let's get moving, let's get moving, let's get moving. Somebody is around the area. We've lost our link to allied territory. Oh crap. Full power to maneuvering through. I'm too far out. The enemy is capturing control point alpha. Solid lock. Let him loose. Uh, lose there is a group that's close. Uh say again. Uh, there is a group that's close on a got a with a delivery boost. Corvette close, so oh, that's fun. <laughs> Have fun with that. The enemy is capturing control point alpha. The enemy has captured control point uh, alpha. They got A. We're not we happy with that. To our we have lock. Oh enemy Jesus. Coming, Energy, where are you? Please come back. Thank you. Okay, we made it. We survived that. Uh, no. No. I didn't make it. Almost made it. Mm -hmm. So close. Yet so far. Yeah. What is your most favorite ship? My favorite ship uh, would be how I used to play the Monarch. The Monarch is the heavy dreadnought, so it has the most health of any ship in the game. And I basically threw every piece of survivability increasing gear on it I could. Except for the armor, um, self armor unit. Because instead I went for mobility there for a little bit with the warp drive, because otherwise that thing didn't move for shit. Yeah, fair enough. It, it, like, ju you can check your health amount on the left side of the screen. That thing had 100,000 health, and you could increase it to 150,000 for a short while. Yeah, and then, it's like, absolutely insane. <laughs> then it's just like, dying? What are you talking about, dying? I will take three nukes and I will still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. I literally, like, had moments where I saw a nuke incoming, and I, like, set uh, people, I just saw people, like, get underneath me. And then uh, the nuke would pop right on top of me, and I would live, and everybody would live, because they would have been shielded by me. 89 health, how am I still alive? <laughs> Oh god, here he is. Lucky bastard. Uh, nuke? Where? Okay, god. No, he's not there. And I pressed the wrong button there. I lost the missiles into the roof here. Rip those missiles. Oh, let's go towards south area. I got an opening over there. And Oh, actually, nope. We're done. So, uh, Mad King, what's your tier? Uh, my highest tier is tier 4. It is the, uh, the Jutland. Jutland. Uh, oh, Sam. I'm really enjoying it, except that it is really, really slow. <laughs> yeah, Jutland, Jutland has two problems. Um, the Monarch is, one, is faster than the Jutland. And the Monarch is, like, the real speed of the ship, basically, like. That was, what? I actually, like, the Jutland, yeah, wait, wait, give me a second. Uh, what? Jupiter Arms, Monarch. Uh, maneuverability rating is 20 on the Monarch, and the Jutland has also 20, so actually they're at the same speed, actually. But, like, Jutland has 80k health, Monarch has 90k, 90k health. 
The thing is, with the Marinarch and Jutland, is the optimal weapon range being 1200 and the maximum weapon range being 5000. And their guns are, um, like, compared to other, uh, 1783 optimal firepower on the main guns, on the Jutland. And if you compare that with, for example, a same tier, um, medium, uh, Dreadnought, 1386, actually on the main guns, wait, what? 13, 8, 19, 96. It's almost 400. Actually, wow, that's actually done. Those are really terrible DPS then. That one. What's the TPS of the Lorica? 1524. Oh, wow. So, uh... Yeah, yeah the... the yeah, <laughs> Jutland but... is slow as hell, and the guns have low range, and you're basically reliant on your, um... Uh, like... Uh, warp drive to get anywhere unless you can get uh, the engine rigger navigation briefing oh that one uh. double the uh, speed boost when you go power to engines but 55% more energy usage uh, fair enough compared to ju just what like the um, speed increase just uh, like the different the speed, yeah. the speed difference between, um, like boosted with that briefing and like the normal, the speed difference between boosting and not boosting basically, uh, that difference gets doubled. That, and then fifty five percent more energy increase in return. But uh, who cares about that? And I think actually like the um, um, the arms trident. I think he has the offer, that officer briefing. Uh, yeah, engine rigor, movement speed plus 100%, energy use 75%, energy set to engines. Energy set to weapons, uh, module damage and healing plus 30%. So you can module amp the nuke for 30% extra damage. <laughs> uh, what is this? That's, that's like module amp and burst damage abilities. You just like activate the thing and then launch the nuke. And then deactivate because then you're done with the boost. Yeah, just over and over. <laughs> but uh, I would still say, um, actually, funny how they nerfed adrenaline shot. Adrenaline shot didn't like it. You um, before it did not have a uh, health limitation. It would have been active at any given moment. But uh, this one is well below thirty percent health now. So basically, it used to be at any given point. Be healed, be healed, or heal something else, someone else. You gain energy. Oh, that's complete bullshit. That's complete. <laughs> yeah. Makes no sense. You get repaired, you get energy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, it, it works. <laughs> yeah. Adrenaline shot was the most broken ability on any dreadnought of uh, or a uh, healing tactical cruiser. Simply because um, it also scales with the amount of healing you did. So with a cochet, if you actually like, there was a time where it was so powerful that if you had a cochet and you was maximizing your healing output. So I'm just gonna grab that thing, that big ass potato, and check the abilities. So normal, your your normal, um, you got the uh, beam amplifier. Your normal healing beam, then you got your repair pod, and then the uh, repair auto beams, and then uh, auto repair. If you had all of those access at the same time, and you set uh, power to weapons, you wouldn't run out of energy. Your energy output would still be positive <laughs> due to adrenaline shot. And otherwise, your energy would be drained in like five seconds. Ah, oh, I see. So like it it, it it put out so much energy they nerfed it to only be active when under 30% health. But that's actually fine with a uh Jut Lunch's Monarch. I mean 30% health on a Monarch is still like 30k health. And compare that with um let's say a light tactical cruiser. It has 22,000 health. So you still have more health than a different ship and a lightweight class on the yeah, same tier. It's just dumb. It's what? 
I also really enjoy um, the Morning Star style combat. Oh, okay. Set up your friend request. Uh, where are we? Uh, social. It's Enigma. Accept friend request. Fight the squad. So, uh, do you want to join the squad as well, or you're still in the match? Um, yeah, of course, sure. So, uh, what's your username? The math game. Same, I probably. Right. Um, uh, nine seven four. Nine seven four. Send friend of Okay, if I just squat, I might just grab the Morning Star and say uh, YOLO. <laughs> I, it, it was actually like I had a modified Morning Star on a Zemi class by just customizing like a normal one, and uh, that one was, was quite hilarious. Uh, so you're talking Scattergram broadside. Uh, what was it again? Uh, Heavy torpedo. And then the armor booster pulse and the warp jump. It wasn't as fun as the Monarch, but just shooting shotguns in somebody's face non stop was, was pretty damn fun. But uh, what I basically did with the Monarch was um, teleport to people's face and obliterate them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. The armor booster pulse on it is so nuts. 55% damage resistance for you and allies within 1600 meters. Ah, okay. And then, That's and then the warp drive, five kilometers range. Just if you're, if like, is if anyone, any enemy is within five kilometers, it's like boop, hello. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. Just like. Boop, 90k health, broadsides in your face. I had like ballistic broadside on it. Quick cooldown, high DPS, relative short distance compared to the plasma broadside. So, what are we gonna grab here? Shall I go medic? No, yeah, okay. I actually do, I do not have to proper loadout for it actually. I probably should get some more stuff on it. So I might as well. We got two healers then. That's not bad. Uh, should I play as a Dreadnought or as a Destroyer? Uh, we already have a Dreadnought. We're actually we're playing Onslaught. So we should not have uh, Dreadnoughts. You really want to focus Destroyer. Because, of course, you have the command ship, and the command ship is going to eat all the damage anyway, so he's basically going to be your dreadnought. <laughs> I fair enough. And I'll be focused on healing that king, actually. Uh, if I can find him. Hi, he is, is uh, right here. Okay, how much health does it command ship have? It's 100,000. Okay. Oof. Enigma, you got that's a medium destroyer, right? Or am I blind? So I got an Ava style. Um, okay, you have a booster pulsed. Uh, beam amplifier. I have a firing weapons output. Uh, there we go. I have a fire done. Keep him alive. Uh, new can come. Coming. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm actually moving out here because I have to retreat. I'm losing health. Uh, you, I suggest you retreat as well because they're all over there and you're basically alone with just the two of us. Uh, I think you're dead here. Yeah, nowhere for me to go. Shit. Yep, I'm just trying to keep you alive for as long as possible right now, but no, I'll be. Pu I'm pulling back. Ah uh, shit. Uh, 
Uh, there goes the com what? there goes our command ship. Damn, we got five destroyers. Hold on. Uh, maybe a artillery cruiser would work. Poking their yeah, medic. Yeah, I don't have a artillery cruiser, sadly. Thank God for Taco Cruiser now will swap towards it. I will be pokey poke. Uh, Piotr is dead. Uh, we're, okay, I'm out here. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, that's weapon booster pulse, not movement booster. Corvus is dead, probably. He's out of energy, yes. Multiple enemies facing him. Uh, oh, hello, assault ship. I'll just poke you a little bit. I'm out of energy, not a juice. I'm moving in towards you guys. Uh, nuke incoming. I spotted a nuke launch. Oh, uh, there you guys are. I'll be healing Kano first, and now I'll be going up to you. I'm doing, putting all my power into you. All I got. Oh, I got. Yeah. Well, it's Kenko, it's at almost full it, health. Where did. did where is well. Kenko. Get Kenko it, guy just warped into the entire enemy team. The hell. There are only a few points ahead, actually. I am warping. I, I am warping towards you. Alright. Okay, Jutland, huh? Piotr, don't move forward, please. No. 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 Boosting output. Here we go. Keeping him alive. System is drained. Starting cooldown. Oh, the damage output is so garbage in this thing. <laughs> well, the Dreadnoughts generally have a garbage damage output, and you actually have the best damage output on tier for your Dreadnought, apparently. Just a wow. five, it's just a 5,000 range. You need to get within 1,000 meter to actually have a really good damage output. Yours drops off really hard. Where's Corvus going? Amplifying weapons, I need support fire at these coordinates. Uh, Firing boosting up, <laughs> healing Darkov, and uh, system is empty. Should I move in? Oh, uh, we got a command ship, and he's dead, uh, actually. It looks like the command ship is dead. Ah, uh, wrong button. <laughs> I'll be healing the command ship as hard as I can. We, you need to, we need you guys to move towards the right. Heal it. Yeah, I'm still here on the front lines. Uh, what's your health percentage-wise? Uh, ninety percent. Say when it drops below seventy-five. Uh, they're moving in. Aggressively. Yeah. You have warp, right? Can you warp towards me or the command ship? The command ship is really like dying right now, so I'm just doing my best to heal it. Yep, it's dead. Well, well I need to have a solid uh, alarm. Align the side, which I do not have. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. You actually do not have to need uh, line of sight to warp, you just need to have line of sight to target. Yeah, that's what I mean. You see that big ass thing over there that's like, look at Corvus size. Oh, she's warping, but like, Tarf Tress, where he is at, basically that big ass ridge. You know how you normally spawn like 
one team on that side of the ridge and the our team on this side of the ridge. Just imagine just spawning and immediately warping through that shield. Like, just immediately warping entirely through that thing and then they're saying hello. I need to get target warp on this thing, really. Uh, I need some healing. Alright, I'm up. Amplifying weapons, output is full, and there you go. They have, they have no healer. They have no healer? Nope. Let's hear it. Alright. Uh, Dark Elf is pushing hard again without doing hard, the best. I'll be giving you a life. Ah, shit. It'll be fine, right now, or at least a while. Amplifying weapons, keeping you up. Recharging energy, preparing for my heal overcharge. You're fine, man. You're still at 60k health. That's as much as a light dreadnought. You're best. In this kind of engagement, that's where you are best, for real. Okay, output L energy. Here you go. Boop, boop, boop. Well, you're back to 70k. 75k. Sending a repair pod. System drained. Ah, that's good. I'll be moving down underneath you. Oh, where did he warp? Okay, he warped far. Uh, destroyer right in front of you. He's shooting at me. His health is pretty low, so... Uh, Dreadnought... Uh, Corvette on their pot. What happened? Okay, he's dead. Good. Corvette is dead. Oh wow, we're actually winning right now. We need to push hard on that... Uh, destroyer. Or Dreadnought, actually. Light Dreadnought. Light Dreadnought, yeah. I am fully up and running to heal you, but I'm actually getting missiles at me. Okay, yeah, uh, do you have anti-missiles? Actually, I'm just gonna use you as shield. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he is toast. Oh, that might. Nice. Good job, guys. <sighs> Nice. How did Darkov get third place? How? He was a suicide running continuously. Uh, three hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred thirty-two healing. <laughs> nice. Wow. Damn. That was pretty glorious. That was a lot of health. <laughs> uh, and that's why I want to have the Koshay. The Koshay just like increases the heal output by 20 to 30%. But it does not have any offensive capabilities. And uh, for that I need the Dola. Ow. So can can you like equip a uh, tactical cruiser maybe? Uh, I do not really play tactical cruisers. Mostly destroyed. All right, uh, uh, Klaus, do you have a uh, tactical cruiser, maybe? Because we do need like one of them in our lineup. I have a uh, weapon, boost, weapon booster pulse three equipped, so uh, I will be increasing our damage output for quite a bit. Uh, weapon Booster Pulse also increases healing, so if I need healing, I can actually pop it, and the Tekko Cruise can heal more. Morningstar is uh, just having like a uh, hero ship in your lineup is really nice, just because it gives 10% increase in experience in all ships. If you have four of those, and then you can just like grind. Um, ships with 40% more effectiveness on tier oh. 3 or 4 my game crashed oh, 
Uh, okay, then I will. Uh... Uh, I'll probably be back within like a minute. Yeah, then I'll just wait for a moment. It's kind of sucks that you cannot see easily where you can find the uh, different modules. The Dragon Shot is actually unlocked after you unlock two modules on the Koshi. Where does extra motion come from? Beam amp, repair pod, overclock pulse. Overclock pulse is also really nice. Okay. Five, second five second reduction on every teammate's uh, modules. And just like an instant. Boop. Just low. It's five seconds. It's, it's quite nice. Yeah, five seconds is absolutely nothing. Well, it depends on the module. <laughs> yeah, okay. Being Goliath torpedo on tier three has 75 seconds cooldown. Yeah. But that's why you use module reboots. Reduce 60 seconds cooldown at an instant, even though it has a 135 seconds cooldown on itself. And that's why I want Desperate Measures. Desperate Measures is still one of the best um, officer briefings. Uh, and I'm not sure where it actually sits, so I actually have to check every damn ship from where it is. I think it was, actually it might actually be out of the blood. No, that's module amp. Uh, Unless resort. No. Oh, here it is. Uh, Miro mats. Do you need to get the tier 4 medium material cruiser? Get two of its abilities, and then you can get Desperate Measures. I don't know if you know what Desperate Measures does. No, I have no clue what, what it does. Uh, activation trigger is health, reaches 25%. Its effect is removes debuffs, refills energy, and reset modules. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, oh, I'm I'm getting hurt. <laughs> Four abilities again, and that on a monarch. Just like, oh, I hit what was it, uh, twenty five thousand health. Oh, I just get a free reset on everything. <laughs> just uh, it's just glorious. It's just a monarch that it needs to be within. What, three kilometers of your opponents really to be effective. That's that's the biggest challenge of the monarch. Is like get that fat ass moving, and that's all you need to do. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If you it's manage to, if you manage to do it, you're you're done. <laughs> so I'm grabbing the Dola to get that Koshe. Uh, once I have the Koshe, I will be able to grind for that one and get the adrenaline shot. Also being really just such a good. Briefing. I mean, sure, 10% boost on pretty much everything you have is okay on the standard first briefings. But some of the officer briefings are just so overpowered. <laughs> I would not actually put oh. desperate measures on anything else than a dreadnought. Uh, or a... I have to go, sadly. Alright, rip. Well, see ya. See ya, I guess. Oh, this came out. Uh, here the Monarch will be almost useless on this map. In this game out. That's great. This is Mobility Wars. Even the Dola is slow on this game mode. Is that guy warping? That guy is warping. We got a dreadnought close. Boy. Oh, 
out of range. Oh jeez, that's a monarch already here. It's empty that motherfucker's shields as much as possible before the missiles impact. Okay. There goes a monarch. Right there. Goodbye. Oh Jesus. We got another one. And it's retreated. We have missile lock. Missiles away. Missiles reloading, Captain. Two attack of cruiser and tr two monarch claws dreadnoughts. Oh hi yo. Hello. Hello. Is the live stream going on? Yep. Live stream is still up. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. I used to do YouTube, so I know this. Just, just joining in. So, what are we doing today? Uh, we're playing Dreadnought, actually. Dreadnought? Spaceships, basically. Giants. This. Very, very giant spaceships. Let me see what this game is. That's a free to play on Steam. Oh, okay, then I will download it. <laughs> totally Rip what this live stream is about. Rip this artillery cruiser. Lol. Dread not. What in the world is this game? It's a really old game, actually. It's been around for a long time already. And Oops. I'm dead. Rip me. I, th I thought this was gonna be a cross out live stream. No, I'm actually uh, playing right now because it's more uh, PC intensive. And I need to test my PC with something intensive, like to make sure everything is running properly. Ooh, new PC? Uh, no, my old PC broke down. I had to re basically had to reinstall Windows and everything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and I right, one of the it. one of the backups that I forgot to make was the settings of my OBS. That was the only backup I forgot. <laughs> the backup. <laughs> Do oh not have God. that backup is annoying. So I, I, my settings of my OBS were reset, and I have to figure out that what my set settings are. Awful. Yeah. Where do you think I have been with my videos in the past week? <laughs> Just make an entire video on how to set up OBS. Uh. Oh my god, I remember when I tried to set up my OBS to run cross out, but my room, but like every setting that I did, my computer running like a 525 graphics card, which, which is like integrated into the CPU. Integrated in the motherboard, I assume. If yeah, integrated in the CPU is kind of yeah, interesting. I, yeah, <laughs> to say the least. motherboard. Integrated into the motherboard. Oh my god, my cat's right next to me. The cat plays games. My cat's crawling. Every time I play games, when a live stream is on in on your channel, my cat always comes and like sits in front of me when I'm trying to play my games. Because that Oof, torpedoes. Let's hide a little bit. Shoot some guys here. Oh, God. Shield activated. That did it. Reboot complete. I can't launch torpedoes. Abandon ship. Ah. I almost had him. Yeah, my game's not going to be able to download by the time the stream's over. I got some time, actually. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm currently I'm just grinding. Building. I'm currently grinding through a heavy destroyer to get a heavy tactical cruiser that's locked behind it. And the grind is so much of a pain. <laughs> Is it like is it like the equivalent of getting a legendary in or in a uh, crossed out? No, it's about two tree rares. Thank you. It's it's oh, still yeah, a lot. It's not hard at all then. It's it, it's still a bit of work, you know. Tier four becomes immediate like two tree epics, and tier five becomes two tree legendaries basically to fully grind out. It's kill oh, it's kills it's kills really hard between the tiers. Tier 3 is still doable, tier 4, eh, not so much. I know this is, like, I know this is not a question related to Dreadnought, but I have a question for you on Cross Out. Do you think Legendary should be cheaper? Um, with the current crafting systems, I don't see it becoming cheaper, but they should be more affordable. But I don't see them becoming cheaper knowing the market and everything. It's a bit hard to grind out two months worth of resources to craft a legendary sometimes. Yeah. For new players, it's really discouraging. Sure. Uh, get down low. Do you run cross out on max graphics? Uh, yep. This is not fair for me. I'm running it on low graphics and I only get 30 frames. I put some money into my PC. Yeah, I'm about to build <laughs> one. It's going to be a Intel i7 with um, 1070 Ti. I got 1060. I got a i5. And uh, currently got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I'm gonna put a lot of my. Well, like I know a person who's gonna get me a discount on most of the uh, most of the items, so it, it should be like they go from like around fifteen hundred to around maybe a thousand. Yeah, that's real. I have also like a guy. <coughs> I got like an acquaintance of mine that works in the business, so I can basically get the stuff for import price. But there's Ooh. actually not that much of a profit margin if it comes to um, mainly graphics cards. No, graphics cards are graphics cards will always be expensive. Simply due to Bitcoin. <laughs> Simply due oh to my Bitcoin. God, yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, ten eighties go for twelve hundred now on the market. Yeah. And actually oh, okay. I remember I remember like seeing graphic cards with like thousand sixty for under two hundred bucks. And I was like, Well, now you have to pay four hundred plus. I remember same back stuff. in the day when 1060s gone for like, no, 1070s would go for around $800. And then it dropped down to 600 for like a month. And then it went back up to like 1000 mm -hmm. Like it doesn't make any sense how it goes from 800 to to $1,000 for something that's, that's worse. It's not even the top of the market. Well, it's just like... It's a way of earning money, just so investors buy the stuff up, and then the supply demand drives the price up. True. I would say I really enjoy Dreadnought, and uh, I'll probably end up buying some more bundle stuff on this game. I really uh, want- If it's really power intensive for your computer, then there's no way that my computer's gonna be able to run this. Uh, it is a bit more power intensive than cross out but not that much if in law if you're on well if you're minimum graphics and then already having difficult time with cross out then i'm not sure whether you can run the game but uh it might be 10 fps <laughs> oh jesus i run cross out let me see uh i'm running it at currently running it at 40 frames. 40 frames is kind of painful because your refresh rate is either 30 or 60, so you, you will have. Yeah. You basically have 30 FPS then. And give me one it second, looks like guys. A fun game.
our territory to our allies. All hands to action stations. Prep for combat. Let's run out the guns. Alright, I'm back again. Oh god, conquest mode and slow start. That's not good. It's got this fat ass moving. The enemy is capturing control point beta. The enemy has captured control point beta. This game is actually like really enjoyable because how challenging it is to master with tactical decisions. Hmm. You have a uh, energy system, and you can put um, your energy to power your engines more, so you are faster. Or weapons to increase your fire rate, or shields to prevent part of the damage. And you have to be really aware of when to use energy on what. And weapon to energy is all—I uh, almost never use uh, par uh, weapons to energy, uh, like energy to weapons. I mean. Simply because it requires so much energy, you burn through it really fast, and you have actually relatively little gain. Uh, that's a tech of cruise at 5 kilometers range, which is pretty close. <laughs> okay, why did he get, he, why did he get between, within 2 kilometers of a freaking destroyer? He's be very dead now. Goodbye. Ah, uh, that's why. Yeah, they uh, destroy our buddy. I'm gonna see this. What, what, what it looks like? Oh, you can see on this. Just turn on your stream. Mm, I'm gonna grab a, a tether cruiser as well. I'm gonna need the mobility here. The cat plays. Let me sub. Oh, that looks that looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool. And uh, you got 15 different ships, and each ship has like five plus different variations on the rear, bridge, middle, and front in terms of looks. That looks awesome. I actually got replicas of some of these ships in Robocraft using only helium to um, make them fly. Uh, got that the... looks absolutely wicked. I'm actually missing a few graphic I things. I, I actually remember a few um, graphic things that I actually do not see here anymore. Just kind of sad. Uh, where is the enemy currently? That little Corvette slip past us. Oh, hello. This reminds me a little bit like Robocraft. Uh, not really, I think. Just like the flying part of it. Uh, if they added flying into, uh, like to cross out. <laughs> Goodbye, little Corvette. Is there not a Corvette here? Oh, okay, there is. Okay, thank god. I made it somehow. X activate cloak. So let's hope they won't notice me. Thirty kilometers. I would have to range for that. Okay, they got a little Corvette in cloak. Come on, get rid of your cloak. Stasis. Let's get that thing on mobile. The 
Hi, Mom. Uh, yeah, I don't think my PC will be able to run that. I'm dead. <laughs> well, I'm putting out a max setting, so, uh... There's that. Alright, I'm, I'm done Whoa, with this shit. Explosion looks wicked. I'm done with this shit, I'm gonna grab my Morningstar and... Crush some people with shotguns. Screw this shit. Initiate warp. I'm gonna say hi to the destroyer. Come here, little buddy. Come here. Give me a hug. We're out of energy. We're going to full of shots. And now hello to this. You're not escaping me. Ah, assist works too. All stations, warp jump on my mark. Three, two, two one. one, warp. Jump complete. Jump cooling down. Enemy has a lock. Firing up. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Solid lock. Make Surprise. Oh, he nuked himself? Okay, not uh, sure. See a tackle cruiser coming closer. That's almost suicidal for against a threat of my type. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Ah, great a nuke. Uh one, Captain. We've secured the control point. Shield activated. Our fleet is dominating the battlefield. Enemy has a lock. Multiple impact. Damage control teams on station. Firing up. Ah, rub. Right. Too many people there. Killed half a tree. Still not bad. Ah, that guy's a custom morning star. We've linked our territory to our allies. You heard the captain. GG, we won. <laughs> oh, top score. Uh, it took me quite a bit to realize that lol. <laughs>
Well, on the side of this game, you sometimes run into a small credit problem that you do not have enough money to buy stuff. And I'm talking to myself because he left. Oh well. Elysium. Oh, that's one of my favorite maps. Just all the little things you can go underneath is really fun. Guess I'm back to the Dola. I'm back to playing alone. Oh well. Oh, those wings on the side of this guy. Those are cool. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> Happy. No Corvettes on our team. Going to scout. He already knows this drill. The infectors and the dole are basically the same Requesting ship. Oh god, that's a nuke. a bad start. I'll be swapping for the Shiraz for this match to make up for that heater. Activate all healing power on Sui. Just keep him alive. He's still alive, but he's moving away from me. Don't lose snap. Ah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 
shields. We've been hit hard. Deploy damage control teams. Release pulse countermeasures. Ah, oh, I forgot the bomb. Amplifying weapons, I. Got an enemy contact. Requesting fire at this location. Captain, we're getting butchered out there. We gotta step it up. Amplifying weapons, I. System drain. Scope. Give me my life. You heard the captain. Commencing cooldown. Okay, let's keep him alive. Don't move out too far, Suey. through the distance it's not good especially if you move down so I cannot heal you only if you got out of your fight out of the fire range then that works so he is dead Damn it. 20k health on him. He was dead if it wasn't for me already. <laughs> Sending pulse counter measures. Ah, pulse, not pot. System drained, starting recharge. Amplifying weapons, I. That's why you're the captain. Enemy corvette destroyed. Ah, uh, got off my heal there for a second to kill the tactical. Oh well. Understood. Systems drained, Captain. Captain, we're gaining ground out there. Darn it. There goes my support. I have to fall back now. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Not doing a good job protecting our artillery cruisers. Uh, 
It's gonna hurt. Oh no, he's got anti missiles. That's great. Unless he got he gets killed. Firing. Commencing cooldown. Release pulse countermeasures. Thanks. Firing up. Gotta use the beam on here. Oh my god. Maybe with the missiles coming in here. I will live. Amplifying weapons, I. All ships, enemy contact at this location. Somebody kill that thing. Oh my god. Fire on this target. What are you going to the recruiters doing? Beams are amplified. I captain activating. Pod launcher reloading. Systems drained, Captain. Shield activated. Oh Lord. Yeah, man, guys, ignorant as hell. We've got the advantage, Captain. It's trying to keep everybody healed is hard. That, that destroyer will have to do things on his own for a second. You need to keep this stupid demon guy alive, or not? We're winning, Captain. Oh, he's dead. Again. Support fire. Meet it over here. Oh, he's alive. Let's get over him. Over to him now. Oh, grab. I've put his energy web. It's not a mo uh, freaking ability. People situational awareness. You guys can do it. Firing up. You here go have some fun with that health. Hey, knee. Enemy missiles incoming, Captain. Oh, great. Our spread is our team right now. Thanks, 
So yeah, it's gonna need health right here, right now. Amber's out. And we're on cooldown, trying to get Sui alive again. Ouch. They fought me. Shield activated. Who just died on top of me? Captain, the pod's in place. System drained. Cycling. Corporate is actually doing pretty well here. Oh no, 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 no. Don't push in, don't push in. It's over, Captain. We underestimated him. Face bomb. Really big face bomb there. Oh. What a, what is what was what are using? I wonder. Best of team, not. Yeah, I was stacked. That's why I score so high. Continuously healing. I assume you had a cachet because that healing amount of score for healing is kind of hard with if you do not have a cachet. I think I'm gonna end up here, finish up these things here. Power out of beams, and generator. So this beam is also kind of nice. I'm just like unlocking things right now, even though I cannot get them and buy them. Because I have no credits. Bora has a kind of a lot of research points. That weapon amp is kind of tempting. Who that? Hello. Hi. Welcome back. Oh, it's about to end, uh, like finish up. I've been streaming for almost three hours now. <laughs> nice. Meet. So, uh, yeah, everybody to the stream. Thanks for watching. If there had only been like five stream watches, actually seven stream watches is most. And uh, let's hope the stream will work for the other games as well. Oh, well. see you guys.